Are you ready? Are you rolling? Rolling? Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Adonis belt. And that is the V lines down here on the abdominal, kind of like that. And there's three exercises that you can do that are going to give you a nice V shaped lower torso abdominal muscles. So they are lying leg raises, hanging leg raises, and dumbbell side bends. And we're going to do, go through all of them right now. So, the first one, oh, this is greasy. These are, gonna, these are the hanging leg raises, and what you're gonna do is just grab a bar or a branch or anything sturdy. And it could be, you know, shoulder width apart or a little wider than shoulder width apart. And what you're gonna do, put your legs straight out like this and just lift. Try to keep your torso as stationary as possible the whole time. And what you wanna do, is lift your legs as high as you possibly can each rep. If these are too difficult, bend the knees like this and perform leg raises this way. It's usually a little bit better if the bar is set higher, obviously, because you wanna be able to, if your legs are straight out like this, you wanna be able to straighten your legs all the way down. Imagine I'm hanging like this and then pull your legs straight up like that. So, whew, just those got me out of breath, I need a minute. Keep rolling though, we're gonna go right to the leg raises, just make this quick. So that's number one. Those are the hanging leg raises. Then you can do these lying leg raises, either on the ground or on a bench. We're gonna use a bench because we got it here. Lay flat on the bench, legs straight out like you're on a plank. Remember that planking craze? Did you ever do the planking bee? You know what that is? And what you can do is either put your arms down this way, or you can put them up here. It really doesn't matter. The main thing is you want just a slight arch in your back and you want contact with your hips and pelvis on the bench the whole time. And with your shoulder blades, you want those in contact on the bench the whole time as well. And slowly lower your legs. So until your body's in a straight line, lift them back up to the bottoms of your feet or up towards the ceiling. And for extra credit, if you want to fully engage the entire abdominal region, just one little press like that is gonna fully contract your legs. If you want to make this exercise a little bit harder, what you do is just slide your butt off the bench completely. So I'm going from here to right there. And that's gonna add more resistance because most of my weight is hanging off the bench now. And then if you want extra credit, just like that. If you want to make it easier, put more of your butt on the bench. Or just do them on the floor. Ugh. Okay, so that's the laying leg raise. And those are really good. As you can see, I'm already kind of getting like a muscle pump. Is that a good angle? I don't know, I can't tell. But those are two of the three exercises you want to do. The last one we're going to need a heavy dumbbell for. What do you know? We got them right over here. I'm going to grab the 50. It doesn't have to be a 50, be a 30, 40, whatever. But it's not too much of a motion. You're going to stand just like this. Nice tall posture, barbell at the, dumbbell at the side, just like this, over the chest, and then just let that dumbbell pull you over as far as you can. The outside hip might go over a little bit, that's fine. Keep that dumbbell close to your body the whole time. Back a little bit. Am I on the screen? Okay. And then uh, crunch this oblique over here as tight as you can to bring yourself back, standing in a tall position, and then repeat. This actually feels pretty good. I haven't done those in a long time. Then switch sides. You do something to the right side, always do the same exact thing to the left side. All right, and then repeat. 
Try to keep your feet both planted firmly on the ground. Sometimes I like to put my opposite hand on the oblique that's working so I can ensure that it's firing correctly, that it's engaged, and it is engaged. Can okay, confirm. And what these are doing is they're building up your oblique muscles, making them a little bit wider. You're gonna notice they'll get a little bit pumped up and that's gonna add the shelf and the abdominus. Abdon Confusing my words, I'm mincing my words right now. I'm getting tired. Whew. All the oxygen and the blood is rushing to my abs, away from my brain. Your abdominus belt. What these side bends are gonna do is give you more definition on the oblique shelf right here and right there. So try out these three exercises, just to recap, hanging leg ra raises, seated leg raises, and then dumbbell side bends, and they're gonna help you build your Adonis belt. Have any questions, let me know below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that bell, so you know whenever I'm dropping a new video. Thanks for watching, guys.